Beste Intel-medewerkers, mijn naam is Wendel Boers, mijn decor uit Leiden en ik heb de volgende vraag voor u. Een aantal jaar geleden las ik in de krant iets over optical computing en dat ging feitelijk over dat uh, we over zouden gaan van het verwerken van elektrosignalen in chips nu uh, naar lichtsignalen in de toekomst. Uh, nou is het al uh, een aantal jaren stil naar omtrent en ik vroeg me dus eigenlijk af, uh, zijn de zaken tot stilstand gekomen? Is het moeilijk gebleken? Is het onmogelijk gebleken? Of wordt er gewoon nog aan gewerkt? En als dat laatste het geval is, wanneer kunnen wij de eerste producten daarmee verwachten? Alles bedankt! Hi Remco, my name is Victor Crudel and I'm the director of marketing here at Intel for Silicon Photonics. And I'm here to answer your question of will Intel eventually put uh, or integrate optical devices into, into our chips? The short answer is yes, but it's about five years away. But let me explain a little bit first about the silicon photonics program. So optical devices have a fundamental advantage over copper, and that is photons have no mass and they don't interfere with each other. Therefore, you don't have EMI, electromagnetic interference. EMI ends up limiting the length that copper cables can go. So for example, a 10 gig copper cable can only go 7 meters. An optical cable, can, uh, 10 gig, can go 300 meters. The problem with optical devices today is they're made out of expensive materials. Things like gallium arsenide and lithium ni niobate. So they're expensive and exotic. What we're doing here at Intel is making optical devices out of silicon. Uh, we're making them out of silicon and a CMOS fab. We have over a $65 billion investment in our CMOS fab. We make a million chips a day, so we definitely know about volume economics and how to get the cost down. So that's what we're doing here with silicon photonics. So now let me explain, uh, your, or explain the answer to your question. And this is actually a poster I did about five years ago, but it, it still explains what we're doing. So the way we're going to start, this is showing that uh, starting we're going to have discrete building blocks. It's probably hard for you to see, but this is showing like uh, we'll have discrete lasers, waveguides, uh, photo detectors, uh, uh, assembly mechan mechanisms, things like D-grooves, uh, and then uh, integrated circuits. Those will be discrete, um, and we'll, our first optical modules will be made there. And then eventually we'll integrate all of those onto one integrated optical module, and that's uh, still a couple years ago. And then five plus years from now, what we'll do is integrate the optics right into our CPUs. So our longer term vision is eventually you'll buy a CPU, there'll be no pins on it, you'll just have one thin optical fiber coming out of it, carrying all your data.